I'm trying to record if it's I'm trying I'm trying to record if it's Oh Alright, yo, what's up? Uh, I don't know how many months it's been, but anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to make fake impact frames. You know, if you're ever like too lazy or just you don't, you don't give a enough to make like real impact frames. I'm going to show you a little cheat on how to make fake impact frames. Oh my God. So the first thing you will want to do is when you have your two clips for this scene, I'm just going to make um makima's eyes like the you know i'm just gonna make her eyes the um sort of the impact firstly you will want to add an adjustment layer yeah you you already know how to do this you you use after fix so yeah just make an adjustment layer and then make a shape layer so here make a shape layer and once you make your shape layer you want to go inside your little tab over here and click add you want to add an ellipse and then you will want to add a fill. Make sure you turn the fill white. It doesn't really matter. It's just um, a psychological thing. Just turn the fill to white. Scale it up a little bit over whatever you're trying to make impact or whatever you, you put your little fill thingy over the subject. And once you've done that, you want to go back into add and put trim, uh, no wait, no, not trim paths. Put wiggle paths. Now uh, this is very important. So once you've done that, you will want to turn up the size. Okay, as I was saying before my OBS like killed itself. Once you added wiggle paths, you wanna increase the size like a little bit, something something like this, whatever looks good. And then increase the detail by a little bit. That's like that's perfect. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, once you've done all that, I'm going to click on your adjustment layer again, and then you want to add fine edges. And once you've added fine edges, I usually just make it black. I don't like to keep the color. I just add it black. I just make it black. And then once you've added black and white, you want to type in levels to make it look um, a little bit better. So something uh, around 50 or you can make it the opposite. It doesn't really matter to be honest. But yeah, once you've done that, if I add levels, you also don't have to do this. I do this sometimes and sometimes I don't, it just depends. But I would um, sometimes add S auto paint and it is a plugin. Well, it is like a sapphire, sapphire, whatever it is. It's a plugin. But once I've, add, once I've added that, I would turn up the frequency a little bit, probably like that is fine, and then turn, uh, really just turn up the frequency to be honest, just so it looks a, a little bit more believable. And after I do all of the, the last thing you will want to add is a blur, a blur. Um, you can add directional blur, you don't have to add the directional blur I'm adding, you can add any type of blur, whatever you want to. I just add a blur to make it look even more better. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna duplicate it because Makima has two eyes, not one. So yeah, I'm gonna duplicate it. And yeah, that's really how you make a fake impact frame. That's pretty much it. Oh shoot. <laughs> but yeah, I did it. Um, I did it in one of my previous edits and I did it um, not too long ago. I think in my, yeah, in my Chainsaw Man edit that I did not too long ago. But anyways, yeah, that's basically how you make an um, impact frame, a fake impact frame. I appreciate the people who are still here and um, please, please, please like follow me, subscribe, you know. <laughs> subscribe, please. Shut the fuck up.